Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to continue our theming Magento, and we're not going to do a ton of Magento uh, things today. We're going to keep working on these templates that we have here. We're going to clean up. We're going to create a uh, drop-down menu right here for our navigation. So if you're interested in something a little bit more technically Magento, uh, technical development stuff, then you can feel free to bypass this one if you already know how to just take this and, and use skeleton to make a drop down navigation. If you don't, feel free to keep watching. We're going to break it down for you, okay? So, just like in the last lesson, we had a header.phtml uh, and we took that and we modified it to be using HTML5. Uh, and then we used that to use the skeleton framework to get what we have here. So, we're going to just continue on with that by uh, editing the next file. So what file is this navigation? If we go to our header.phtml, this should all look pretty familiar because we've been in here. You'll see top links, if you remember, those are those links at the top, store language, top search, uh, top container. Oh, at the very bottom here is this uh, get child top menu. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and guess, well, I don't have to guess because I know, but this is the navigation here. If you were to guess that this was your main navigation for your site, you could verify that by going to this file. Well, what file is this? Just like we noticed when we wanted to find get child HTML top search, uh, we're doing get child HTML top menu. So there should be a top menu.phtml file. And let's go to our finder to confirm this. Um, sure enough, in our uh, by the way, this is in the front end default template, the file structure under page HTML. Sure enough, we have top menu right here. So just like we've been doing before, I'm going to copy this file and I'm going to put it in that uh, our, our themes um, HTML folder, just where our header one was, just like we've been doing. So nothing crazy. Um, there's probably better ways to do it than just dragging it, but for simplicity right now, that worked fine. So I'm going to open this up in um, Magento, or in Sublime Text 2 here. And here we have this file, just to verify that Magento is getting this file. One thing you can do is you can just write test at the top of your file. Um, and we can refresh here, we should see test pop in, perfect. So it's exactly what we would think, this is the file that we're looking for. So let's go back to Sublime Text, and I'm going to change this div with the nav container. I'm just going to change this to a nav tag. This tag is an HTML5 tag that basically says your navigation lives here. And this isn't for any particular uh, unordered list of links or anything like that, but uh, links that are uh, relevant to your navigation of your site. So uh, as this, we have the nav class HTML or nav container. We have this UL with an ID of nav. What I'm going to do is I'm also going to add a class of container to this. The reason why I'm doing that is because as we've done in the previous lessons, when you add a class of container using skeleton, it gives it a width and sets it so the margins are auto on left and right so that it centers it. So that should be good for this template. We don't have to do a whole ton else. Let's uh, check out our page and make sure everything's nice and centered. Okay, now it's just CSS. So let's actually see, uh, let's inspect these links. So we know that they're uh, inside of a UL, we have a list item, anchor tag, and inside of that's a span just in case we wanna do anything else. You can change that. You actually don't have to have the span if you don't want to. Um, I think for this purpose, it's fine to have it in there. So here we have this UL, okay? So this uh, list, we don't want all these uh, subcategories to display. We just want the main ones. So we're gonna do some things. Uh, if you'll notice here, our nav, and then our ID of nav, okay. So let's go to our CSS, and let's make this happen. Let's scroll down here. I'm gonna comment my code here. Okay. You're going to put a main nav. It's really important, uh, I'm sure I've said this before, but to comment your CSS in case anybody else is looking at it, keep it nice and clean and organized. So we're going to say nav, and then I guess the ID is also nav for the UL, and then we want to say any unordered lists inside of this navigation, we want these to be 
display none. And we also want our nav ID nav uh, list items. We want these to be display inline. Okay, and now let's refresh this page. Cool, now we now have these uh, links in the line here. Let's add a background to this whole navigation area. And so now we want to add a color to the nav, so we're going to say nav with an ID of nav container. Um, let's make sure that's actually correct. Nav hyphen container. It's actually a class, not an ID. So it's a good thing I checked. Let's make sure the spelling's all exact and everything. Okay, cool. So if we're here, we're going to add a background color of uh, it's going to be five, two, four, seven, three, or seven, six, three. And this is just going to be a darker purple. We're going to say all anchor tags within this nav dot nav container are going to be white. Okay, now let's save this. Let's check out our page. Cool. Uh, one, one thing is, actually I didn't get the right color. I made this the same purple color. Let's go back here. The color I wanted to use was actually 373 uh, 142, although I'm sure you're not following along with these exact colors, so it doesn't matter. If you are, uh, just know there's a small change there. Okay, so now we have this dark purple. Um, let's, let's keep going with this, okay? So let's add um, text decoration, none. We're going to add a font size of, let's say, 1.6 M's. And refresh, let's check this out. Okay, now let's add some uh, margin in between these list items. I'm going to add a margin left, or I'm sorry, a margin right of, let's just say, uh, 15 pixels. And let's uh, add some padding in this nav container. I'm going to add some top and bottom padding. So we'll just do padding in here. I'm going to add about 10 pixels of padding to the top and bottom refresh. All right, looking a little bit better. I think I want some more margin here, and I want these to give us an underline when we hover over them. I also want to have the uh, list item below it hover appear when we hover over them, because then it will function like a true drop-down menu. As of right now, we're just displaying these main categories. So because this is not a CSS tutorial, I'm not going to bore you with the specifics on how to make a CSS drop-down menu, especially if you already know. What I will do is if you have uh, have no knowledge about how to make a drop-down menu with CSS, I'll link you to uh, resources where you can learn how to make a CSS drop-down menu. It's not very hard. There's a couple of lines of code and you can implement it really easily. Uh, but all you need to know is right now we have a working, looking nice navigation on our site. And when we hover over it, uh, a drop down, very simple drop down menu appears. And more can be done with that in CSS over time. However, uh, if you need resources to learn how to do that, just check out uh, Level Up Tut's CSS tutorials and the resource I post in the video below on how to create a drop-down navigation using only CSS. So we have our nav all cleaned up, ready to go, and we're ready to move on to the footer. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. If there's something you want to see in particular, let us know. If uh, you really want to see how we made this drop down menu, let me know and I'll make another video specifically for that. As always, thanks for watching. Bye.